Okay. Picked up dinner. No idea what's in the bag, but I know it's all from the 99 cent menu. <laughs> Didn't you get my text about Louise? No. What's up? She has COVID. What? Are you sure? Yeah. She tested positive. And I couldn't talk dad out of going over there to take care of her. Oh my God, this is terrible. I think I may have given it to Louise. <laughs> what? You're being paranoid. You're super careful and no one wants to be around you. You're a naturally repellent person. <laughs> no, I, I did something stupid. I, I went to a hotel a few times. Oh my God. Are you cheating on Ben again? How do you find all these people who want to have sex with you? <laughs> no, I'm not cheating on Ben. They have an indoor pool. I just hang out for an hour or two to de-stress. My psychiatrist said it would help with the anxiety attacks. Of all the times to hang out at a crowded pool. No, it's not crowded. Then this last time I fell asleep in a chair and I woke up to a full-on birthday party with a bunch of idiot 25-year-olds and none of them was wearing a mask. But I left as soon as I saw him, so I figured I'd be fine. How would you give it to Louise? Because I saw her a couple days later to see if she had any pot. That helps my anxiety, too. Your shrink prescribed an indoor pool in pot? Do you know if he's taking new patients? <laughs> I just feel horrible if anybody else got sick. I gotta go get tested. And please don't say anything, okay? I'll stay away from everybody until I get my results. I'd like to tell them myself. Oh, God, how am I going to tell them? You're just going to sit them down and tell them you're a stupid, selfish, narcissistic troll who only thinks about herself. But, you know, put it in your own words. <laughs>